Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. The frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other disease and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who send their private intentions. For the benefactors and friends of the Basilica. And for our personal intentions. Please kneel. Let us now pray the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world, without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world, without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world, without end. Amen. Let us pray in Doraccio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins, and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, health of the sea. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsoy. Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. Please stand. Oh, 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, our gospel for today speaks about the compassion of God. Like the tax collector, we are also acknowledge our sins and beg for mercy and compassion of God in our life. In a special way, we include our personal intentions and for those who ask for our prayers. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Rejoicing in this annual celebration of our Lenten observance, we pray, O Lord, that with our hearts sent, set on the Paschal mysteries, we may be gladdened by their full effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Come, let us return to the Lord. It is he who has rent, but he will heal us. He has struck us, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day, he will raise us up to live in his presence. Let us know, let us strive to know the Lord, as certain as the dawn is his coming, and his judgment shines forth like the light of the day. He will come to us like the rain, like spring rain that waters the earth. What can I do with you, Ephraim? What can I do with you, Judah? Your piety is like a morning cloud, like the dew that early passes away. For this reason, I smote them through the prophets. I slew them by the words of my mouth. For it is love that I desire, not sacrifice and knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is mercy I desire, not sacrifice. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt and of my sin, cleanse me. 
It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled. O God, you will not spurn. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. Be bountiful, O Lord, to Zion in your kindness by rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. Then shall you be pleased with your sacrifices, burnt offerings, and holocausts. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. Please stand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of heaven and bless glory. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee, and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. O God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood, stood off at a distance, and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast and prayed, O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter, the latter went home justified, not the former. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Bakit po tayo pumupunta sa simbahan? There are only two things kung bakit tayo pumupunta. Una, because we want to give gratitude to God. And the second thing is that we always go to the church to ask for forgiveness. And so, makikita natin yung recognition natin as sinners. We are all sinners. Tayo po ay makasalanan. Siguro, isipin natin, mas greater yung second part kung bakit pumupunta tayo sa simbahan. Because in our day-to-day -day experience, in our day-to-day -day lives, we always encounter difficulties, we always encounter trials, and so sometimes, because of these situations of ours, it lead us to commit sin. Like for example po sana, sa kahirapan ng ibang tao, nakakapag-isip na ng iba, ng hindi maganda. But let us try to imitate the tax collector. Alam niya na 
siya ay makasalanan. That he even raised his eyes to heaven and beat his breast. Alam niya na yung because of his job, nakaattach siya kanya yung sabi nating kasalanan. But for him, alam niya na siya ay isang taong merong kasalanan na nagkakasala but alam niyang humingi ng tawad sa Diyos. Siguro, there are some of us na pwede nating sabihin na just for the sake of praying, I invite ka pumunta tayo sa simbahan but not really praying. My dear brothers and sisters, all of us wanted to receive mercy. Mercy and compassion because of our being sinful, being a sinner. God will always assure us of His forgiveness. Pero sana, hindi naman po paulit-ulit Ilang beses man tayong madapa sa ating mga kasalanan, babangon na babangon pa rin tayo at papatawarin. But hindi sana yun yung understanding natin na patuloy at paulit-ulit nating gawin yung mga kasalanan natin. My dear brothers and sisters, let us try to recognize, let us try to be aware that We are all sinners. Ang ganda nga nung sinabi ng tax collector, O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Madami tayong mga, mga bagay-bagay na hindi natin nag, na, nagagawa out of our unconsciousness nakagagawa tayo ng nakakasakit sa ibang tao. Nakakagawa tayo ng mga bagay-bagay na pwedeng maglid sa atin into sin. But my dear brothers and sisters, always remember this. We need to do the right thing and get away doing the evil one. Kailangan nating sundin kung ano yung tama at is iwasan ang gumawa ng masama. And at the same time, when we recognize ourselves as sinner, pupunta tayo sa confession. And we tell all our sins and ask for the mercy of God to forgive us for all our sins. Siguro, maliliit na bagay lang yan, pwede nating venial sin lang yan, pero, kasalanan pa rin po yan. And so, the importance of prayer. Yung sana ang hindi nating mawawalain sa ating buhay. That even you are at the middle of the field or anywhere else, we need to pray. The only thing that we can, we can offer, we can do to combat temptation is that through prayer. Even nga ang anak ng Diyos hindi nakaligtas sa tentasyon. But alam niya yung sarili niya. And for us human, kailangan natin ang dasal. And so my dear brothers and sisters, one beautiful characteristic of this, this tax collector is that he is humble. Humble siya sa mata ng Diyos. And so, there's a beautiful phrase or sentence that the gospel would tell us. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled. And the one who humbled himself will be exalted. And precisely, Jesus Christ is a perfect model of being humble. 
Bakit? Madami na lang ginawa sa kanya yung mga ibang tao, yung mga pariseo and, and, and the chief priests. And yet, hindi man siya nag Anong ginawa niya? He even prayed for them. He even prayed for them. Ganun siya, katindi. And so, meron sa atin ngayon ang poong Nazareno. It reminds us that the Lord Jesus humbled Himself for us because of His great love for us, because of His mercy for us, because of His compassionate heart. We always, she, He is always there for us, willing to forgive us as long as we recognize that we are sinners in front of God. Tagwala kasi yan. Sabi, siyempre, kagaya na natin yung pariseyo. Nais nice sabi parang we are just only proud, proud to ourselves. But kailangan nating magpakumbaba. The Lord will help us. The Lord will forgive us. The Lord will never abandon us. He will always there for us, willing to wait and share His love for us, sinner. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue our day-to-day life, let us try to challenge ourselves to always commit ourselves to God and always pray for, our, for ourselves and for our salvation. May the good Lord continue to bless us, guide us all throughout our lives. Amen. Please stand. With contrite and humble hearts, we stand in the presence of God. Let us respond to these intentions with humble and sincere prayer. Let your mercy flow to us, O Lord. Let your mercy flow to us, O Lord. That the church may be a sure heaven for sinners and outcasts. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your mercy flow to us, O Lord. That public servants may show a special concern for women, children, orphans, the elderly, and the homeless. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your mercy flow to us, O Lord. That believers may deepen their prayer and penance, especially in this season of land. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your mercy flow to us, O Lord. That the sick may experience the healing power of Christ and thus give them hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your mercy flow to us, O Lord. That those who have died may enjoy life, happiness, and peace in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your mercy flow to us, O Lord. Father, you search our hearts and discern our needs. In your mercy, grant that we ask in your prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
this is them. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, by whose grace it comes to pass that we may approach you mysteries with minds pure, made pure, grant we pray that in reverently handing them on, we may offer you fitting homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Santo, 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 Panginoong Diyos, Napupuno ang langit at lupa ng kadakilaan mo. O sana, o sana, o sana sa kaitaasan, o sana, O sana, O sana sa kaitaasan, pinagpala ang naparirito sa ngalan ng Panginoon. O sana, O sana, O sana sa kaitaasan, O sana, O sana, O sana sa kaitaasan. Please You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, whom we merit to be co-heirs eternal life, 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us now pray the ark of his spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May we truly revere, O merciful God, these holy gifts by which you ceaselessly nourish us, and may we always partake of them with abundant faith in our heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us offer a song to our dear Mother. Salve Regina. Mater misericordiae, vita dulce do, espes nostra salve. A te clamamos, exules filieve, 
ad Jesus piramus, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale, eia ergo, advocata nostra, ilos tuos, misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesu, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis posso exilium ostente. O clemens, o Dulcis Virgo Maria. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, by the cooperation of the Holy Spirit, you prepared the body and soul of Mary, glorious Virgin and Mother, to become the worthy dwelling place of thy Son. Grant that by gracious intercession, in this commemoration we rejoice. We may be delivered from present evils and from everlasting death. To the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Fiat. Pray for us. Please kneel. Panalangin para sa kalagalingan sa mahal na poong Jesus Nazareno. Diyos Ama sa Langit, Sinasamba at pinupuri ka namin. Ikaw na aming Diyos at manlilikha. Kami ay nagpapasalamat sa di mabilang na pagpapala, pangangailangang espiritual at material na naipagkaloob mo na sa aming buhay. Ngayon muling bumabaling kami sa iyo dahil kanino pa kami maaring tumakbo. Ikaw ang tanging Diyos tagapagkaloob ng lahat ng mga mabubuting handog. Naninikluhod kami na naway maipagkaloob mo sa amin, di karapat dapat nalingkod ang buo at ganap na pagpapagaling sa aming espiritu at kaluluwa ng aming pag-iisip, puso at kalooban, ng aming damdamin, alaala at imahinasyon, ng aming mga ugat, buto at katawan ang buong pagkatao mula sa tuktok ng ulo hanggang sa dulo ng aming mga paa. Hipuin mo ang, ang bahagi ng aming katawan na nakakaramdam ng sakit at alalahanin. Ninanais namin ito upang umayon kami sa buhay na ninanais mo para sa amin. Ngunit kailangan namin ang aming kalusugan, lakas at enerhiya upang magampanan namin ganap ang pagtupad sa mga tungkulin ng estado ng buhay na nilaan mo sa habang panahon. Hinihiling namin ang pagpapagaling na ito sa ngalan ng iyong anak ni Jesus Nazareno, ang manggagamot na kamit na namin ang di matatawarang halaga ng biyaya at kapangyarihan ng pagpapagaling sa kanyang mahigpit na na paghihirap at kamatayan sa krus. Sa pamamagitan niya, natubos na tayo upang maging ganap. Sa papamag- pamamagitan ng kanyang sugat, tayo ay napagaling. Salamat sa pagtugon mo sa panalangin ito, ngayon na aming hinihiling, dahil kami ay tunay na nanalig sa salita ng iyong anak, Jesus Nazareno. Hingin mo at ikaw ay makakatanggap. Hanapin mo at ikaw ay makasusumbong, kumatok at ikay pagbubuksan. Bagaman nalala, nalalaman na namin ang sagot mo, oo, gagawin ko. Maari kaming maghintay upang maging ganap ang pagpapagaling. Kaya buong tiwala naming nilalagay ang aming sarili sa iyong mga kamay. Nalalaman naming ang kabutiang dulot 
ng karamdamang ito. Tanging hiling namin ay magdulot ang pagpapagaling na ito ng iyong karangalan at kulwalhatian na pagpapabanal sa aming sarili at sa iba at makapagpapag makapagpapatatag ng pananampalataya at pag-asa sa iyong sambayanan. Amen. After the Mass po, may I invite all of you to please fall, fall in line to, to receive the blessing of the hand of the poong Nazareno po for healing. Please all stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Jesus, Nazareno, sinasamba ka namin. Pinipinto ka namin. Araw buhay at kaligtasan, Nuestro Padre Jesus, Nazareno, Iligtas po kami sa kasalanan. Ang krus po pinamatayan ay sa gisag ng aming kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, inarangal ka na. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, inulwalhati ka namin. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, sinasagpa ka namin, pinipuho ka namin. Araw ang aming buhay at kaligtasan, Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, Iligtas mo kami sa kasalanan. Ang krus mo pinamatayan ay sa gisag ng aming kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, Inarangal ka namin. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, inulwal ha na dahabi. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, inarangal ka dahabi. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, inulwal ha Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, sinasamba ka na namin, pinipinto ka na namin, araw ang aming buhay at kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, iligtas mo kami sa kasalanan. Ang krus mo pinamatayan ay sa gisag ng aking kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, Di narangal ka namin. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, inulwalhati ka namin.